Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking apart and cleaning a linkage on a Druid. Uh, the tools I'm going to need today are a 5mm, 6mm torque wrench, and some grease. So my first step is going to be to take the rear wheel off. Using our 5mm Allen key, we're going to remove the front shock bolt first. And then we'll remove the rear shock bolt. And then from there, we can just take the shock right out of the frame. I'm just going to get the rear triangle out of the way here so I can get this one linkage bolt out when the time comes. Uh, insert the 6 mil into the shaft on the drive side and the 5 mil into the screw on the non-drive side. And then once the screw's out, we'll just pull out the shaft. Let me go ahead and do the same thing on this guy. So from the rear of the bike, we're just going to go ahead and remove the linkage. And then inside here, there's four little spacers that we're going to grab as well. So you don't need to worry about where these spacers came from because they're all identical. Using the six mil, we're going to loosen and remove the shaft in the linkage. And when you pull it apart, there's two little spacers in here as well. So now that we've got the linkage all apart, we're just going to go in and give everything a really good wipe down. And then as we do, we're going to just check for any irregular wear on our spacers. And then on the rocker link, we're just going to give these bearings a good wipe down. And just give it a feel to see how the bearings feel. If you notice that there's anything that's worn out and you need to order an extra part, you can go to the exploded diagram on our forbidden page. And from there, you can find what part number it is and order it online. Now that we've had, got everything apart and cleaned, we're going to start reassembling. So we're going to grab this shaft and apply some white lithium grease to it. So grabbing these spacers, we're going to go uh, flush side outwards. And we've used just a tiny dab of the thicker grease. And that's just to hold it in place there. And from there, on the pull link, we want to have the words facing upwards. And on the rocker link, we want the numbers facing upwards. And we can go ahead and put the two together. So from there, we can slide the shaft into the two. So using our six mil, we're just going to tighten the shaft in. And then our final tightening will be done with the torque wrench set at 14 Newton meters. So once we've got it all together, we're just going to make sure that it's moving nice and freely. So again, with these four spacers, I'm just going to use a dab of this thicker grease. Just so when I go over to the bike, I can have them held in place. And then we're going to apply white lithium grease to the two shafts. So now that I've got these four spacers in place, I'm ready to put uh, the linkage back in. And you just want to make sure that the wording is facing you right side up. And then we'll grab the shaft for the pull link. So we're just going to screw in the end caps here just until they're snug. And then we're going to come back with the torque wrench after. So using the torque wrench, we're going to tighten these up to 14 Newton meters. Before putting the shock back in, I just want to Lift the back end up here to make sure that it's moving freely in there. Now it's time to reinstall the shock. I'm going to start with the bolt in the rear first. Now let's get this snug for now and I'll go back and tighten it to torque. And the bolt in the front. So these guys are going to be tightened to 14 Newton meters. And now I just need to put the rear wheel back in and we will be good to go. So there you have it, that's cleaning your linkage. Uh, for any tech support, you can head on over to our webpage for more information or you can just go and click the link below.